60 miles off the coast of Japan, an American carrier force slang at units of the Japanese fleet is attacked by land-based enemy dive bombers. Here in the inland sea is the prelude of an epic of United States Navy warfare. Enemy losses are heavy. No serious damage has been done to our task force. Suddenly, the carrier USS Franklin is struck square amidships by two bombs from a low-diving Japanese bomber. Fully loaded planes on deck burst into flame. Bombs, rockets, and gun ammunition explode, turning the ship into a raging inferno. Without panic, crewmen fight the fires. Only superhuman bravery can save the Franklin, but her men fight on. of casualties grows as explosions continue. The Franklin burns through the day. Chaplain Father Joseph O'Callaghan, battling heroically to save lives, cares for a critically wounded sailor. Franklin is still afloat. No ship has ever before taken such punishment and survived. Scorched and bomb torn, the carrier lies dead in the water, listing sharply. Rescue ships, without regard to their own danger, stand by to take off the wounded. 1,100 are casualties, more than 800 of these killed or missing. But 2,000 others of the Franklin's crew miraculously escape unhurt. torn flag of the Franklin still flies as under her own power again she heads for a home port. Chaplain O'Callaghan celebrates religious services aboard as the Franklin limps across the Pacific. Entering the Panama Canal in the final stretch of her incredible 12,000-mile voyage, the Franklin's wounded receive combat decorations. The crew of the Franklin who brought her through safely, heroes all. The ship that the Japanese had announced that they had sunk is now home in New York for complete repairs. The Franklin's successful battle to survive now takes its place in naval history, and she will sail forth to battle once again. <laughs> <laughs>